Hey guys, thanks for joining me again and today I just thought I'd do a video just covering the patches for Fallout 76 that are coming out this December. Now I know they've been released on a different platform of but Twitter, Bethesda's homepage, different Fallout groups etc. But I just thought I'd do a quick video as I know there's still some people out there that don't think these issues are being addressed. So I thought I'd make it simple to do the video but I did want to say before I started seeing this actually coming has made me actually quite happy because it really does show that Bethesda are listening to what's being said to them and the feedback that we're giving to them is actually coming round now see there was a concern before they weren't actually listening to what was going on but there's going to be a lot of patches coming up obviously there's a lot of issues with the game and they're working on getting them all through and I think in time with these patches we will definitely end up with the Fallout game that we all actually thought it was going to be and that we wanted from them in the first place so the patches start off December the 4th and a second patch is being added in December 11th. So let's have a look first at the December 4th patch. Well, the December 4th patch is going to start off with fixing a few things. One, legendary enemies that you defeat will now drop up to three legendary items depending on what their levels were. Obviously this was the original plan for Bethesda to do this and the patch actually fixes the fact for a lot of people they only received one legendary item instead of the two, three legendaries they should have had. So you'll find after this patch from now on you're fighting like level 75 Scorch Beasts etc. Uh, really high level at legendary enemies. They will actually drop the proper legendary items they were supposed to be dropping in the first place. Another patch it's going to be fixing is the stuck power armor patch now I know a lot of people have had this issue I haven't actually had it myself personally but I can understand being stuck in your power armor has got to be probably one of the most frustrating things possible if you're trying to use it sparingly or if like me you don't find fusion cores very often so you pretty much don't have the fuel for it anyway but the patch is going to update that now so you should find you don't have any further issues with your power armor locking you in or anything and everything should flow just like normal. Uh, being over encumbered is also an issue that people have in Fallout quite a bit. I know I do especially with the stash limit etc. But one of the issues people have found and this is one I found myself quite a few times is when you're over encumbered and you die you can only shoot yourself off to Vault 76. Obviously, if you're right the way across the map from Vault 76, this is pretty much a giant pain in the ass. Well, the new fix. Well, the new fix on this is going to fix all that. So you'll be able to teleport yourself like any normal fast travel to so the nearest settlement you were. So you can dive straight back in and get all your loot that you've dropped, and you won't have to worry about having to transverse the entire wasteland again or have to shoot yourself across after dropping a load of stuff. And of course, the last one, and the big one, is the stash limits being increased. Now I know this has been a sore point for a lot of people, and I know how annoying this has been, but the limit's gonna go from 400 to 600. And I know some people that have seen this and still moan that it's only going up to 600, but quite frankly, it's one of those, I think 600 is actually gonna be a really good number. And Bethesda have said it is going to increase again in the future, but the bit I want people to understand with this as well, if you know anything about how online servers work is when you add that, it may seem like they're only adding 200 on, but you're doing that for thousands of people that are playing the game as well. So they're going to add it in smaller amounts to make sure that the servers can actually stand up to the pressure of having that extra information put into it. Obviously, the last thing you want is that everybody can store a thousand pounds of stuff, but your game lags out every half an hour because there's too much information being stored on your server. But it shows they're making steps towards it and having that extra bit of weight will certainly make a massive difference to me in the game. So I said just to highlight again, the December 4th patch will be more legendary items from legendary enemies. Power armor sticking bug is going to be fixed. Over encumbering respawn bug is going to be fixed. And the stash limit is going to be increased from 400 to 600 and more will be coming as they test it on the servers. And as I said, December 11th, there's going to be a second patch coming out as well. Uh, the first one is going to be for PC gamers, which is your push to talk button, which I know you've all been waiting to have actually put in there. So it's pretty cool. You guys are going to get that. I don't know if they're going to be working in the future to get a console version of this. If they do, it'll be interesting to see where they put it on the controller itself. But definitely for you PC guys that are used to your push to talk options, 
you're now going to have it in Fallout as well. So enjoy. <laughs> and after that as well, then you also are going to be able to respec your special points. Now, this is a pretty cool one as well. Actually, as you know, level 50, you max out your special, and all you can get is perk cards after that. Well, after that, you'll be able to actually reassign your special points to rebuild your character as a whole following this patch, which, again, I think is a pretty cool touch, really, because it means that you, if you've made mistakes earlier on in the game when it comes to your special points, you can actually reassign your points and create the character that you actually wanted in the first place or that you are now more aware that you can actually use. So it's a cool little change around. It really does fully let you customise your character and adjust who you are in the wasteland. And last but not least, two patch pieces for your camp. One is going to be the camp bulldozer, which I think this is a pretty cool option really. Uh, you lay your camp down and then you activate the bulldoze option and all smaller items like tree stumps, rocks, etc. that will block you from being able to build get wiped away completely and give you a good clean area to actually build your camp on. I know the frustration where I've tried to build things and there's been a rock or a tree stump or some just crap there that stopped me from building exactly what I want to build on my camp. So for me, this is definitely going to be a welcome addition. I think it's going to really improve people's camps as well. And the second piece they're adding into it as well is actually going to be involving camp replacement. Now, as you know right now, if your camp is being taken up by somebody else's camp when you join a server, your camp is stored away in pieces and then you have to rebuild it elsewhere. Well, the new patch is gonna give two options. Option one, you can choose to build your camp somewhere else. And you just move it to another area, drop it down, and they'll let you just build your camp there like it is now. Or option two, you can actually change server to go to a different server where your camp space hasn't been taken. Now, the reason this is obviously pretty cool is you don't have to mess around then. You don't have to worry about it. You can just move servers and drop your camp down. And the part that wasn't made so clear when the original notes were released is the fact that when you join a server, if your camp space has been taken, you will be made aware as you join the server, not when you go to travel back to your camp or when you look on the map. So you'll know straight away you have the choice of just leaving the server and joining another one instead. Well, that's all the notes they've released so far for the two patches. Obviously, we're probably going to see more patches every single month for a good while, as Bethesda did say originally this was going to be a year-long project from launch to get it to, well, where they believe it should be. And obviously, it came out with so many more issues than we were expecting it to. But... They are working on it and this is a fantastic start moving forwards. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to some of you out there at least that didn't want to have to sit and read through the patch notes etc or just wasn't aware that it was coming and for those that haven't brought Fallout yet, I'm hoping if you see this it gives you a bit of a heads up of what you can actually expect to buy and hopefully it will bring you into our little world and you can join us all in the wasteland. Well guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below with the patches coming. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest content. And as always, thanks for watching.